Hello boxing fans, Chris here from CMBoxing.co.uk Yep, it's Friday so it's time for your weekly news report First of all, let me apologise for not posting a video last week but I had a bit of a cold and could barely speak So, I'm sorry and I hope you didn't miss me too much but let's get straight down to it And, unfortunately, we start this week with more news about, jo about Joshua Bur Bur versus Wilder Deontay De De Wilder is, is still confident that, that a fight, that a unification fight with uh, anti, anti Joshua can, can be made despite the fact that, that talks between, between the, the pair bro, bro dang. In that, in that appear, appears that the, the fight will, will take place in, on April the, the 13th next year at Wembley Stadium. However, anti Anti Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn has said that Wilder should, should receive a, 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 lo, a, lo, a, lo, a lower fee for, fee, fee for the fight. According to him, jo, jo, Joshua signed the, signed the contract months ago and it's been him, that, and it's been him that's been holding, holding up um, the, the fight from happening, which begs the question. Does Deontay Wilder actually want the fight? Um, but at the moment, it looks it, it looks like uh, AJ, AJ, AJ's ne ne next trip into the ring will be again again is is man is man to change it at 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 Wembley Stadium because la, la, last week um, Eddie Hearn and and Wembley Stadium confirmed that Joshua's next two fights will in indeed take place at, at the National Stadium uh, after his previous two took place of course in Cardiff now, there's, n there's no doubt that, that, that Joshua can definitely sell, sell out Wembley Stadium so, so confirming that at least his next two fights will, will be at the National Stadium could only be a good thing both, both for the fans because more, more people will, will get to see him fight and of course for for the sport of boxing, because that means that there will be bigger, bigger opponents over, and it, it will get ca more ca casual fans interested in in the sport. Staying with the heavyweight, the heavyweight division, speaking ahead of of his big class with with Dillian White on the twenty eighth of, of this month, New Zealand jo 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 Joseph Parkinson is is still hungry to to, to win by. His world, world title. The, this uh, after after he lost to uh, Alcosta uh, and to and to Joshua with that with that unanimous you, you know, the decision loss. He, he said that, that he's more hungry than, than, than ever to to win to win the, the title back and find a, a quality oper operator like like the, the Dylan White will help with that. However, however, I. I think that the White versus Parker fight is going to be a really close 50-50 fight, especially if they get a better referee than what they had when when Parker fought Joshua and one that actually lets him fight on, on the inside. If that happens, um, I'm still not, not, not sure who's going to win, but I think it's going to be a matter of whoever lands clean first for will win the fight um, but if, if they get a referee that, that doesn't like cl close up boxing it could, it could be more a case of whoever's got the, the better boxing skills will, will win the fight and if it, if it turns out to be like, like, like that I think you'd have to edge the fight to, to, towards Parker uh, but still in, in the heavyweight division you may, you may remember that after his comeback fight, like I said to you that that um, Tyson Fury was due to be back in the, back in the ring in in August. Well, this week he he has now confirmed his opponent. Uh, he he will take on it, it, Italian for, for Francis, Francisco Felipe on the, on the 18th of of August in Belfast. This should be a much tougher fight for. To, for Tyson Fury, as for as Philippe is a for, a former Euro European champion, so hopefully um, 
it it will for we watch it and not just a I glorify Spiders and shit like his last fight. In other news, Carl Smith, although looking forward to to the, the fight of of the World Boxing Super Super Series, says that having the fight in in Saudi, in Saudi Arabia is is less than ideal. The the fight was originally thought to for was originally thought to to be for in in London. However, the the ve the venue ha has changed it to Saudi Arabia. However, Smith, Smith is, is still confident of winning of winning the, the World Boxing Super Series and and defeating George Groves. Now we're gonna, we're gonna have to wait wait and see that one because again, I think this could be another close 50-50 fight. And let's face it, it's, it's been a, a long time in, in the making with, with Groves being out with with his shoulder injury after winning his semi, semi fight against Chris Eubank Jr. Okay, and finally this week, uh, ahead of a, of a, a, a big knock, a big knock for, for Rocky Fielding, when he takes on Tyrone Ty 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 Zedge for the, for, the, for the WBA regular title, Zedge's Z Z Z Z Z trainer has, wa has warned Fielding that, that he uh, has not yet reached his, his full potential and that he, he, he could be in for a, t a tough fight on Saturday. Now, now the, this I have to make is another really really close close fight to call. Uh, I mean, okay, you you have to get you have to give Zed the the advantage because he's he's under he's undefeated. He's fighting in in, in his home country, and let's face it, British boxers do not have the best record when it comes to fighting over over in Germany. However, I think if Fielding can stick can stick to his boxing skills and his own game plan, he could be in. In with a good shot of, of upsetting the odds. I have done quite quite a bit of build up to this fight. I did a blog post called called Who is Rocky Fielding because from from what I've heard from people, uh, they apart from hardcore boxing fans, no, no nobody really seems to know who he is. So I will put the link in the description for you guys to to check out. And as always, I've done a a fight night preview. I will also put put the link to that bit in the, the, the description for you, for you guys for you guys to check out and of course um, the review will be will be up straight straight after after the fight on, on Saturday night. Okay I think that's you guys all caught up with everything go, going on in the world of boxing please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my, to my YouTube channel and if you've got any questions about boxing leave them in, in the comment section or as always you can get into streaming via, via, via my website or so, so, social media channels. The links, as always, are in the, the description. And I will speak to you guys next week. Have a good one.